Hello everyone and welcome for this new session on Launchpad and this session will be about the library. How you could create library and how you manage library is a bit different than the rest. I mean, it's, it's the same process, but it's uh, taking part in a different format and we will see that together. So when you have done uh, new things in Launch, so here I have created in my last video an extension, which is Adobe Analytics. I created the rule. I could have created a data element, for example, and so forth. Um, you would require then to uh, publish that change. And to publish that change, you need to actually create a library. So to give you more information on this, um, let's remove that. The libraries are based on cycles. So the cycles are the, you create a library, you add element to that library, then you build that library, then you submit that library to the next step. And then the process again appears. So you build that library and you, you process, you approve that library to the next step and you build that library. So this is what is happening. You can have multiple development uh, properties, uh, multiple uh, development libraries, sorry. Uh, but at the end, you should have only one here and here. So because it's a different, uh, it's a separate process than the rest, and it's kind of iterative on itself. Uh, once you have a library, you need to process that through the different uh, part. I have created a class which is named library that you can access uh, from LaunchPy. So remember, I uh, use LP when I uh, import LaunchPy in I import LaunchPy as LP. So I can use library and you can see here um, that uh, it's a doc, uh, the doctrine, there is no doctrine actually I would need, but it requires a dictionary as a data in. And this is uh, required from the library that has been published. You can retrieve a library and then use a library class to create um, uh, to uh, create a, an instance of that class and then use that uh, later on in the process. So it's a bit abstract here. So I will go into uh, an example by uh, creating a new library. And the new library is not created directly from LaunchPy, but it's, created, it's being created, created sorry, from um, your property itself. I'm in demo tutorial and now I need to create a new property. So again, in my previous video, I was using new prop for my property. And here I can say create library. And by doing shift tab, you can see that I need a name and then do you, uh, do you want to return the class? And by default, it's true. So it will automatically return me the instance of the class and I can use that uh, later on. So I will use my library name saying library uh, basic, uh, let's say prod one, I don't know where. And this has been done. So from my new library, I have some method available here. And you can see that I can add that element, I can add extension, and I can add rules. So those will add different elements to uh, my library. And the extension, if you look at this, uh, you need the list of the extension ID that uh, are required. So let's have a look at the extension that we have. And this is where you would need to use part of the other class, which is the new prop and say, let's get extensions. Um, extensions with the S, so ex let's look at this. And if you remember, I'm going to do, um, uh, sorry, I'm going to do a comprehensive listing for a comprehensive list to uh, retrieve those ID. And I will say extension id for extension in extension i look at this and i have all of my list okay x ids up and i will add that here 
as I understand from my doc string, I only need this. So I can directly add that. You see that uh, those have been uh, added and they are actually uh, retrieved here. So ha let's have a look on the uh, different uh, UI, on the UI actually. Uh, let's remove this. So I should have now, yeah, prod1. And you see that prod1 has those two extensions attached. So you can imagine it's the same process for each of the elements. You can add uh, rules, you can add uh, data elements. Uh, did I close that? Okay. So as you have seen, um, actually, we, uh, I have actually installed the different or install implemented the different extension ID and the extension that are going to be in my library and that I'm going to be releasing. But I require some uh, elements. So if I'm going to the demo tutorial and going to my publishing flow now, I have no environment. So I cannot actually do anything because I need to attach an environment. So in my new library, I can probably add or I can set environments. And you can see that here I can um, attach different environments and I can directly uh, attach the list environment uh, retrieved by the get environment method. So uh, I'm going to do exactly as being said, environment, new prop, get environment, and I will do that. So my new library is now You can see the state of it. It's in development. And now I can do oh, new library. What I can try to do is actually see if build is required. It's true. So those, because I didn't build anything and you can see the build status. There is nothing because there have been no build. And new library. I can see that the build uh, is being uh, the the build um, request is being uh, showed here, and just I, I just need to say build now. So see this is pending now. So if I'm looking here, now my library is being built in the development environment. So it's already been actually uh, set. Here I'm actually um, doing every 30 seconds, but now you, you see up, I have everything. Okay, status. If I want, I can actually approve that. So my new library. You can see the build status. It succeeded, which we can see with the green dot here. And from there, I can say, I can look at the transition. And the transition, it moves the library along the publishing funnel, funnel, sorry. So if no action is provided, it will automatically go to the next step. So the action is um, submit, approve, or reject automatically um, now we are in state development still remember we were in state so now we are still in development but we have built so as i'm in state development it will be submit 
and if it's to meet it then it will be approved and you see that automatically it will reject my last state if the state is submitted then i'm doing the transition the transition is automatically reject and we'll see how uh, what is that if i remember like uh, i'm doing a transition now okay transition has been apparently successful so now if i'm looking now i'm in submitted mode and i don't have an environment set so automatically normally it will set the correct environment i believe so i can just say new library and build so it's pending so what i would encourage you to do because you can have more than one environment um, for development what i will encourage you to do is to uh, give three environment at the beginning so you remember when i put the get environment i i push them because i know when i created that i had three but i would select one for development one for uh, staging and one for uh, production and, and set them so on the process you want to use most most likely because if you have more than one then it will can create a confusion or a problem um when you uh, try to build it but now uh, it's being built you see that uh, it returns we can we can see now my new library oh sorry state i believe it's in submitted the new library build status succeeded so it's not required so i can move on with the next step and say library new library transition and as i said automatically uh it's going on forward if i do a reject it will come back but we won't do a, re uh, a re reject on this uh, video so now i move forward and as i as you uh, remember because it's not not so long ago <laughs> yeah if you go actually uh, on transition now it will reject it automatically because what we do now is that we will build that library and by building it it will automatically transition it to publish so there is no uh, process anymore the process here is just to build it so now my new library let's see the build status oh it's still succeeded obviously because of the last one but the state is in approved state and now i need to build it and see it's pending and now automatically by building it it has been published automatically so the published action is just a build of the last state of your library when it's being approved. That's why this state is very important because this is the only state where uh, you can approve and test it in a separate container. Then if you build it, this is too late already. If you build it to test it, it's too late. It's already published. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Um, you can see the state and so and so forth. Um, this was a overview of how you can add elements and use the library class in the launchpad environment to build your library automatically so it it can be automated again and um, yeah uh, again you can uh, download all the libraries and do a report on them and so forth i let you do that um, have a great day and see you on the next video